Welcome back to the channel guys, Love Squad here. See we got all three pit bikes lined up. Got a Piranha 140 right here. Piranha 125. And we got the Zong 190. Kind of like a Piranha 190, same thing pretty much. The question and the purpose of this video today is to see what are the compression readings for each bike. What's the normal compression reading for a pit bike in general? I have not seen any videos up with anybody doing compression readings on pit bikes. Or, or maybe I just didn't look carefully enough. I don't know. But I didn't see anything on forums and any specific numbers on what a pit bike's compression reading should be. When sometimes you have problems like we had on one of our last bikes where it just would not start and ended up being a compression issue and we never really knew what the compression should be so we have three bikes good motors for sure we're going to do a compression reading this is our compression tester and we're going to see what does a healthy pit bike engine compression test show Hose all hooked up. This is reading zero. And now we are ready to do some kicks. We're gonna do about five, six kicks. And just an FYI, the engines are all cold. They have not been started today. So we're gonna do a cold test and a hot test. So this one is at right around 80, 70, almost 80. PSI. Compression tester hooked up. Zero. This is the 125. Nice. That's a lot higher. It's like one, about a little over 110. Yeah, a little over 110 PSI for the 125. One thing to take note that the reading got to around 110 PSI after about 15, 16 kicks. So typically when you do a compression test, you do about five, five kicks. So five, I think compression strokes is what will get you accurate reading. And in about five, six, it would go about 90, 85, 90 ish. So keep that in mind, five, six kicks, 85, 90. And then after around 10 kicks, it starts climbing back up again. So maybe the correct number is uh, 85 or 90 P PSI on this. Next up, the Piranha 140. And for this one, I'm gonna have the camera pointing right at the gauge. You guys can hear how many kicks we do, and you can just watch the gauge, gauge as it goes up. When I said I had three healthy bikes I must have lied because it's pretty low I don't think that's supposed to be that low I'm gonna do one more test just to confirm but I would say that's on the on the low end of the compression for what it's supposed to be. I just did another test still around 55 60 so pretty low so the Piranha 140 55 60 psi but i'm pretty sure the rings are going bad on this thing it has smoked in the past i, th I thought it was just temporary smoke but i guess it might be bad the 190 I actually did have a couple startups where it was smoking blue i kind of thought rings might be going bad on that as well so very high possibility that that's that is true but the piranha 125 as you guys can see got to like almost 120 psi which is pretty good and i would say more on the average because normal four strokes and stuff would go around 120 
140 something like that psi if i'm thinking about it what should the average psi be i would say this is what an, a healthy engine should be uh in in terms of compression wise about 110 120 psi should be pretty good i think the the 190 and the 140 are gonna need top ends done so that's gonna be in the future but for now let's see what these will make uh in compression with hot engine maybe i'm just not used to it but this engine has a tick to it i don't remember it having a tick before i haven't been on this bike in a long time but i don't know we're gonna do a top end probably soon and we'll figure out if the compression goes up which i'm pretty sure it will stalled the bike all the time and I thought uh, long just sucks at driving so long if you're watching you suck at driving but keep stalling on me a bunch too so and it drives a little weird front brakes make a little weird noise yeah I'm pretty sure this thing needs a top end now we're gonna see if it made a difference difference right around 55 psi it's uh, so not terrible 95 psi This is on a hot Something's going on down here. I have a feeling it has to do with this. And these bolts having a bunch of oil on them. Possibly metal shavings. So maybe we got holes. But if we had holes, we'd have an oil coming out everywhere. Oil sprayed everywhere. We'll check the dipstick and it's full. Interesting. The bike runs just fine, so I'm assuming that the tester took a dump on us. I went to O'Reilly's, we got ourselves a rental uh, compression tester. We're gonna try this one out and just double check our work because our last one failed. But before we do that, I don't want to really jump to any conclusions, so we're gonna do a valve adjustment on uh, the 140 and the 190 to see if that'll help any. So I didn't want to jump to conclusions because this engine's pretty new, even though it smokes a little bit once in a while on like startups or like climbing up a steep hill and everything. Like I said, I don't want to jump to conclusions, so I'm doing a valve adjustment. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, basically top, put the bike top to the center. You want a 0 0.003 intake, 0 0.004 exhaust. And uh, if you guys want more details, specifics on how exactly to do that, I have a video, I'll link it right above. So click on that video, you can watch that. But I did check the valves and they were off. The intake valve was really tight and the exhaust was a little loose. We got that adjusted, 
let's get the bike all put back together and see if that compression changes. Just like the Piranha 140, we're gonna do this to the 190. We're gonna do the valve adjustment 0 0.003 here. 0 0.004 down here. We're also gonna do, there's this trick on the 190s. I don't know if you guys know, but basically this is from factory is way too loose and it needs to be tighter. So you take this off and you rotate the spring one time more so that it has more tension. I rotated it one more time and I think this is the proper side where you get top dead center because this is supposed to be on this side. You see how it just that doesn't even go back. This is a, it's supposed to be tight and from factory they do this, no idea why. But yeah, these valves are a little bit more loose than before, but still I think it's too tight. So we're gonna adjust them. So I got that on there. Using the screwdriver helped a lot. Oh yeah, much better. I cleaned it all off, cleaned off this area. Now, let's give this another shot. Showing about 65 right now. See if it'll go up as we keep kicking. That's 20 kicks. Yeah, we're about the same 70 right now. 65 to 70 psi. He went backwards after the valve adjustment. That's weird. Alright guys, so you guys saw the numbers from the very beginning to now. We had the Prana 140 went from 55 PSI on the old tester and after the valve adjustment was still 55 PSI. The 190, uh, after the valve adjustment, we also did a de decomp little trick. It's not really a trick, it's supposed to be done from factory. Basically, it opens the exhaust valves on startup and it uh, reduces the compression to make it easier to start. It should make it easier for the starter so you don't uh, like damage the chain or whatever. It should make it a lot easier to kick start it without getting that kick back really hard. So, no surprise there that we went from 95 PSI at the high on the first compression step test. And then after all that that we've done, it went dropped down all the way to 70 PSI because of that decomp spring that we put that we made tighter on there. And then lastly, the 110 went from, a, or the 125 went from 110 compression to a 98. So I'm almost thinking that the second compression tester uh, is reading a little bit off and those numbers should actually be about 10 PSI higher. But that kind of goes to show that compression tests on pit bikes and stuff this kind of, I guess, a reason why nobody really has it out there because the numbers are all over the place. But I guess in my opinion, and uh, you know, I'm not a professional or anything, but 
if you're seeing compression testing of anywhere from like 50 and higher, you'll be fine. If you get down to like the 30s or the 20s, then uh, your bike probably won't even start. That's all three bikes. Uh, one thing I gotta say is I'm very impressed with number one, the Prana 125. The thing is about 12 years old. It's been through freaking everything, sitting out in the rain, everything, and the bike still runs good. Just carb kind of sucks on it right now, but the motor overall, very good. And out of all three engines, it's the oldest one. The Piranha 140 is about a year old, a year and a half maybe. And then the 190 is roughly about the same. I'm not 100% sure because I bought that one used. But both those two have a lower compression readings and the 125 has like a 110 compression reading, which is really nice. So I'm really impressed with the 125. I'm also impressed honestly with all three bikes because if those compression readings is low, because I don't know what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to do probably a top end in the future and then compare it again. But if it is low, the bikes are still running phenomenally. Like they they have no issues. Never got me stranded or anything like that. Same with the 190. Both great bikes. And uh, if the compression ring's low and it's still running like that and still going around everywhere, then you know, these pit bikes are pretty freaking bulletproof. So that's pretty awesome. That's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if this video has helped you guys. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Slav Squad TV or on Instagram, Slav Squad. We just made those, me and Peter. And uh, we're gonna be posting a lot of things there. A lot of sneak peeks will go on there and things of that nature. So don't forget to follow us there. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video.